Las Vegas Casino Hotel Workers of Reddit. What is the craziest thing you've ever experienced in your career? This is more of a funny story than crazy. I was working as a security guard at Louis Vuitton in the forum shops at Caesars Palace. One day this nice old lady comes up and she's eating a cheeseburger. So I kindly tell her that there's no food allowed in the store. She smiled at me and said no worries. She proceeded to finish her cheeseburger in front of the store and chatting with these two huge dude in leather jackets she was hanging out with. The Louis Vuitton manager at that point runs over to me and whispers to me. Why did you not let her in? I told her I'm just following store policy. And the lady didn't get mad or anything so I wasn't sure what the big deal was. That Celine Dion I looked at her. She had no makeup and was dressed like one of us commoners but sure enough it was Celine Dion. The two big dudes were her bodyguards. She's a headliner at the Caesars and was on a shopping break. She proceeded to enter the store, randomly grab just about everything that tickled her fancy and spent $200,000 in a matter of 15 minutes. Your heart may go on, mom, but that burger won't. Please finish it outside. Plus size stripper in a panda costume. She took off everything except the head. Weirdest thing ever. I worked at a club in Vegas where some guy, high out of his mind, climbed up the fire escape on the side of the building, over the barriers, and then onto the roof that covers the valet area, you know, where taxi cabs and limos pull up to drop people off. When the bouncers and valet guys shouted at him to come down, he decided that instead of going back the stupid way he came, he would just climb down the fluorescent light bulbs on the side, which shattered under his weight, sending him down into the street, cracking open his skull on the pavement. He did not die, thank goodness, but his wife screamed about suing the club, we're gonna be in big trouble for this, because her husband is NYPD. Amazing. Long time Vegas hotel employee here, with two favorites. The first story involved a prostitute going up to the room of a guest she propositioned in the casino. She apparently convinced this brainiac to take a shower before doing anything and proceeds to steal his wallet and watch and run out the door. He hears the door and chases after. Butt naked. We now have a 5 feet 4 inches Asian man naked chasing her H down our hallways. They both manage to get to an elevator at the same time, full of other guests. And the guy starts beating the girl right there in front of the horrified guests until the elevator hits ground level and security can intervene. Second story. Woman calls down requesting security to help her remove unwanted guests. Apparently she had been very drunk the night before and brought two men to her room. They both spoke German and did not understand why she wanted them to leave. When the hotel manager asked if she wanted to press charges she told him everything was consensual, but that she had woken up with a dong in her butt and didn't want it there anymore. As someone else said there are tons of stories, just two off the top of my head. The time frame for enjoying this dong in my ass has expired. Before I got into aviation I used to deal cards at a casino in Northern California. A lot of people had ways of trying to cheat the casino. One night on graveyard shift a couple came in and the boyfriend kept feeding his GF booze until she was sick. She threw up on my table and aimed it at the chips. He said omfg babe wtf grabbed about 6k in bloody mary vomit covered chips and made a dash toward the door only to be clotheslined and tased before he passed the buffet. I got to go home after that. I heard nothing else happened that night anyway. I worked at a hotel casino in Las Vegas a few years back. My first day working at a hotel. I was walking my some housekeeping workers pushing a large cart filled with bed sheets. There was a thud. I looked at the floor next to the cart and I saw a big pink adult toy. It had slipped out of the pile of used bedsheets the housekeeping staff was taking to the laundry truck. It was silent for a moment while the housekeepers and I looked at it. The two male housekeepers then proceeded to kick the adult toy back and forth like a soccer ball, laughing their heads off. Another time I saw a girl coming from the pool being propped up by her friends. She was laughing real loud and looked like she was crap faced drunk. She made it 50 feet through the casino where suddenly her laughter turned to crying. Her crying then became loud sobbing. After about another 20 feet of walking and sobbing, she lay down on the floor in the middle of the casino. Moments later, security arrived with a wheelchair and whisked her off somewhere. The roof was leaking during a bad pipe burst. The floor in front of my was a slippery marble like material. 
So, slick floor and water equals disaster for tourists who aren't paying attention. I was not allowed to leave my post, and I was too far to tell people to look out. I called maintenance to put some signs cones towels down. In the time it took for maintenance to come down, I saw several people slip and fall. 3, 2, 1, whoop, one after the other. One guy was looking at his phone, slipped, landed on his ass, and then just sat there looking around. I assume he was looking around for hotel staff to come running and he could demand they comp his stay or something. He stayed there for a few minutes, and when nobody came, got up and left. Another lady came by with a few Starbucks coffees. The casino Starbucks was right there. 3, 2, 1, Gaia Hadu. Now there was a lady on her ass, and coffee everywhere. A few months later, I had to make a written statement about that particular lady's fall. I can only assume she sued, and most likely won. I worked security for a casino hotel, not in Vegas, for 12 months. One night we got called to the underground car park with reports of there being a naked man seen. Myself and another guard go down to see what's up. Everything seems normal. Eventually down the far end of the car park we find a towel on the ground that is basically covered in crap and what looks like pieces of food. Turns out the naked man is hiding in some bushes nearby. I forget what happened exactly. I think a couple walked past and were startled by some noise or maybe smell. So myself and the other guard have found the naked man that was reported. We ask him WTF is he doing and it turns out he is here on a business trip with some company. We threaten to get hotel reception to wake up his boss and bring him to us if the naked guy didn't explain exactly what he was doing. This worked. Turns out, the bloke has a sex fetish that involves wearing the hotel room towel as a diaper underneath evening wear. Crapping in said diaper during company dinner. Shoving small pieces of food down there as well. Broccoli, carrot, it was mainly mixed vegetables, and then proceeding to find somewhere to be alone with his towel diaper creation. Uh, the loaded potato. I made friends with a Denny's waiter late at night once who had worked at a casino previously. Apparently once an elderly gentleman had a heart attack at a casino buffet and collapsed on the ground, and other impatient old buffet patrons simply moved around him to continue piling food onto their plate. Those crab legs ain't gonna last forever. Not Vegas but, celebrity jerking at under card table, large man throwing pit boss over auto roulette, lady having heart attack, falls onto roulette table, husband continues placing bets around her, Chinese walk out after one dude got banned, literally some dude in his 20s walks in, yells something in Mandarin, 98% of Chinese punters stand up, leave, and don't return for weeks. Vegas local here. I worked at a party pool last summer and after a day of high heat and much too much alcohol, my guest decided to pot a squat and crap in the back of the cabana he had rented. That was a fun day. Lots of the crazy stuff I've seen involves violence mostly, crazy fights that end in a bloody mess, or men who go crazy in a fit of rage when they lose more than their life savings on a night of betting. It's a crazy city to grow up in. I was born and raised in Vegas, never worked in a casino, but I've been to enough clubs to see some crap. The craziest isn't stupid drunk chicks, but the money some people spend. My GF's boss spent about $30 to $40 grand in one night at Hackerson. I have been lucky to partake in his look at me I'm rich spending sprees. I thought I was ballon when I bought $70 worth of drinks. While I've never worked in a proper casino, I have worked a slot route, which is in some ways worse. For those who don't know, there are slot machines everywhere here. Bars, grocery stores, gas stations, everywhere. Most of these places don't own their own machines or maintain their own gaming licenses. They lease all that stuff and people like me would come around to maintain the machines and occasionally remove and count the money. Removing and counting money, mostly from 7-elevens in the wee hours of the morning, was my job for 3 years. I've seen things. I've seen the same drunks and crazy as you get on the strip. Sure, but you don't really know the depths of addiction until you've seen the sorts of people who are gambling in a North Vega 7-Eleven at 4am. Heartbreaking crap. I once heard, against my will, the life story of a woman who lost her home, her job and her husband's job to gambling. I guess they were a reasonably successful couple until she started feeding their 401k into machines. I've heard the story before, 
they're a dime a dozen, but the part that made it stick was the ending. My husband doesn't even trust me leaving the house anymore she said, feeding another $20 into her machine. Makes me take him everywhere so it's harder for me to go to a casino. She motioned towards a small nook containing an ATM, and a small shabbily dressed child, maybe six, sitting on a milk crate eating cheetahs. Tricks on him, she said, these things are everywhere. She gave me a sly look like she had shared a clever life hack, like her ability to perpetuate her addiction was equivalent to a clever new use for empty paper towel rolls or something. I could barely hold back the vomit. In theory, we're supposed to report things like that. In practice, those are good customers in most eyes and nothing ever changes. Thank god I got out of that industry. Anyone work at Caesars Palace? I was there for a conference and they had the best coffee I've ever had and I would love to know what kind it was so I can make it at home. Farmers Bros. Coffee Cat was the distributor last I was there. I work security here at a casino. Guy throws chair over people's heads at a bartender. Girl goes into men's stall and smears crap everywhere. H we've kicked out about 10 times in the past barricades herself in a room and cops have to battering ram door down. Dude shoots on plate at buffet, tries to claim he got it from the food line and wants compensation. H I saw bent over in a car with a dude railing her gets upset and claims she wasn't. When I had to tap on the window to get them to stop and leave property, dude loses his mind when he's told he can't wear his furry mask on casino floor. Police come with warrant for room, end up ramming the door down and finding a M lab. This is more common than you'd think. Patrolling pool at night. Suddenly a bed crashes into pool along with the room TV. You pick. Comma dude shoots on plate at buffet. Tries to claim he got it from the food line and wants compensation. Probably the greatest compensation fraud scheme I've ever read. Okay I used to work for the legal department of a large strip casino. Until I started working there. I had no idea that a huge number of people visit Las Vegas for one reason only. To see us. It is staggering the things they try to pull. One woman shows up in town with her 5 year old son, and breastfeeds him publicly in the front desk area. Because of the age of the child, people are freaking out, so she is asked to nurse privately. She then tells our casino she will sue us. Now, all the lawyers on the strip are friends, even with lawyers in the competing casinos, because they are trying to keep this place together. After this incident, we notify all the other attorneys on the strip, because people like this have a habit of hopping from casino to casino with the same con. Sure enough, about 30 minutes after we send out the warning, we hear she is hitting another casino with the same crap, pulls out her boobs and threatens to sue. She leaves that one and tries to enter a third, but security wouldn't even let her in, as a description of her and her com was already out. This is just one wonderful example of the type of people that visit Las Vegas. Just a lot of fights and some people getting stabbed. We have local prostitutes that think the cocktail waitresses are their friends. There was a crazy lady late night in the pit that attacked one of the pit bosses. She was later found asleep under a chair. One old lady kept coming in and peeing on the bar stools. She was banned but it didn't stop her. When your hobby is peeing on bar stools, it's tough to be denied. Dang. I am late to the party. I was at a retirement party for the head of safety from a strip casino and he imparted his favorite story. There was construction going on in one of the clubs in the casino and somehow this drunk guy found himself wandering in there. Well he eventually passed out in the construction zone. Unfortunately the workers did not notice him when they started throwing up drywall. They didn't notice until there was pounding from inside the wall. So yes. This head of safety gets a call in the am saying a guest was drywalled into a wall. I just can't imagine waking up with a pounding headache and realizing you are inside a wall. Not in Vegas, but at a local casino I used to work at an active duty special forces soldier got a bit tipsy and b slapped some dude who was being rough with his lady. Security tried to intervene and wound up with 6 security personnel in the hospital and the tribal police had to taste his ass down. Another time a guy got caught whacking it at a slot machine and before security got him restrained he blew his wad all over the machine. Floor and chair. I'm pretty sure that first event was in Chris Kyle's book. He's the guy who has the most confirmed kills as an American sniper. I read it recently and he mentions that fight because he is the one who slapped the guy. Specified most kills as an American sniper. 
not as a sniper. Apparently that honor goes to Simo Heiha. As someone going to Vegas for New Year's I am monitoring this thread closely for tips. I have a friend who works as a high profile DJ in Vegas and he related a story one night where he was working a party where some UFC stars were in attendance, and he was invited to the after party upstairs. He gets upstairs, and most people have retreated to rooms to do their business and were being relatively quiet, save one room. He walked in to find Chuck Little having sex with a woman on the bed, with two dozen other women looking on and apparently waiting their turn. He stopped the story to tell me he's seen some crazy crap in his time in Vegas, but a line of women waiting to have sex with Chuck Little was the weirdest thing he'd ever seen. You have been visited by the safety Stuart Little. Upvote in 16 seconds for 16 years of safe grinds. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.